Very pretty. And next we head to Moscow. Decorative eggs are often used as symbols of the Christian festival of Easter. In Tsarist Russia, aristocrats and royalty exchanged lavishly decorated eggs at Easter time as a gesture of friendship. Now a new exhibition in Moscow is celebrating that historic tradition. Just days ahead of the Orthodox Easter, Moscow State History Museum is opening a special exhibition. They are showing porcelain Easter eggs which once belonged to the Russian imperial family. That's when scientists developed an original Russian recipe for a sufficiently white and translucent porcelain and the imperial porcelain factory started producing chinaware. The first egg was made by Dmitry Vinogradov, the inventor of the porcelain, for Easter in 1749. We began the exhibition with the 18th century when Chinaware in Russia gained widespread currency. That was connected with the invention of famous Dmitry Vinogradov and it ends with objects from the time of the World War I. When there was a tradition of congratulating and exchanging Easter eggs with the military. The exhibition opening is being attended by Pavel Kulikovsky, the great-great-grandson of Russia. Russian Emperor Alexander III. There's no doubting which is his favorite Easter egg. This is my favorite, yes. The big one of Alexander III is beautiful blue color with gold on top and it's just bigger than normal so it's very impressive. I think that's very fitting for Emperor Alexander III. The eggs were painted with images of Russian saints, landscapes of memorable places, imperial monograms and even copies of paintings by famous artists like Raphael. The Russian emperor met with thousands of people, including military personnel and aristocrats, to give them this special Easter present. The exhibition also features a section where visitors can design their own eggs. It may take a week or more to finish one piece if it's a complicated or ornate image or painting. Some pieces are being made even for months. Russian Orthodox Easter is on Sunday, April 20th. Fei Ye, CCTV.